In this video, I will be discussing how to create, edit, and remove groups such as set lists, collections, and genres in Mobile Sheets. To begin, I will demonstrate creating a new set list. First, navigate to the Set List tab and tap New at the top of the screen. A name must be provided for the new set list, and this can be entered on the dialog that is displayed. After tapping OK on the dialog, Mobile Sheets will transition to the Group Editor. In the Group Editor, two lists are displayed, one on the left that contains the songs currently in the set list, which we will call the Group List, and another on the right that shows all of the songs in the entire library, which we will call the Library List. When a song is tapped in the Library List, the song is added to the end of the Group List which means it will be displayed when the set list is loaded. The song entry in the library list will also be colored light blue to show that it has already been added. To place a song in a specific position, drag the song from the library list and drop it on the desired position in the group list. When editing set lists, the same song may be added multiple times if desired, but when working with other group types such as collections, it can only be added once. Tapping an entry a second time when editing other group types will remove the entry from the list. To remove an entry from a group, tap the delete icon in the left list for that entry. When editing a group, the sort order determines how songs are ordered in the list. The current sort order is displayed in the action bar at the top of the screen and is set to manual sort order by default when editing a set list. When editing other group types, entries are sorted alphabetically by default. Tap the sort order item in the action bar to display a list of supported sorting algorithms. The manual sort order allows songs to be placed in any order while the A to Z sort order orders them alphabetically. The date created and date modified sort orders will sort based either on the date the songs were created or last modified. When the manual sort order is selected, songs can be reordered in the group editor. I will now demonstrate this. On Android, press and hold on the box with two arrows and drag the song into the desired position. On Windows, long press and then drag the song to the new position. On iPad OS, drag the icon with three horizontal lines up or down to the desired position. In all versions, you can also tap the number icon next to an entry and type in a new number, which will move the song to that position. When working with a large library of songs, it can be useful to quickly filter songs to add them to the group being edited. To show filters in the group editor, tap the Show Filters action in the action bar. This may be found under the action bar overflow menu, depending on the size of the device. You can then filter in the same manner as the library screen. Filtering songs is covered in more detail in a separate video. It should be noted that if you filter the list down to a single entry, tapping the Accept keyboard button or pressing Enter on a physical keyboard will automatically add that song to the group. Pressing the down arrow can be used with a keyboard to cycle through the songs, and pressing Enter will add the selected song. To rename the group being edited, tap the Overflow menu at the top right of the group editor, and then tap Rename. A dialog will be displayed allowing the new name to be entered.
To quickly add all songs in the library to the group, tap the icon with two arrows. This will display a prompt to ensure the action was intended. To remove all songs from the group at once, tap the Overflow menu icon and then tap Clear All. By default, tapping the back button on the device or the back arrow at the top left will automatically save changes. Similarly, tapping the Save button will also save the changes. To change this behavior, tap the Overflow menu at the top right and uncheck the option to automatically save on back. Tapping the back button will then display a prompt asking if the changes should be saved or discarded. If the cancel button is tapped at the top right corner of the group editor, all changes will be discarded and the group will not be modified in any way. The last thing that should be mentioned is that when editing a set list, the durations of all songs in the set list will be added and displayed at the top of the list. This will only use the duration field in each song and will not use audio track durations. While the group editor can be used to modify groups, it is also possible to add songs to groups through the song editor or while importing. This is covered in more detail in the Adding Metadata to Songs tutorial video. As this video has demonstrated, the group editor provides all of the necessary features to organize, order, and group song lists, which is one of the core features of Mobile Sheets. Thank you for watching. To find more tutorial videos, click the links below or visit www.zubersoft.com. There are videos covering both basic features in Mobile Sheets as well as more advanced topics like MIDI.